Right, we are back, episode one, Grow Free. We're here for the obvious. We're going to get the Green Gelato, the Northern Lights, Royal Gorilla, and Star Dog started. Um, this is only my way of germinating. There's a million ways, and when I say my way, I learned this off a of geezer. That learned off a of geezer. We all know the way it works. So let me hit that, put that down, get out of the way. Right. Sort of warm, filled with water. Not too much of a big deal. Freezer bag, bits of bounty, plate to be able to stick it all in. This is just what we're going to use to get the bounty wet. <coughs> Excuse me. So tip a little bit of water in it. You, really, you don't need this whole jug, by the way, people. It's just <coughs> not freezing cold. Excuse me. Right. Start by maybe getting this bit of bounty out of the way. Right. I just sorted some bits out. We're gonna start with Star I've got two of them out already. Um, it's a real simple thing. I mark them all up just at the top. In half. In half again. I'm gonna end up with them just about there. So take that. Place it in. Really don't need it that wet at all. Let's see. Squish this out so it's dripping a bit. Okay, can you say it? Some people um, sand the edge of them. I've seen all sorts of different ways um, of people doing it. I tend to find that this just works every time. I've never had a seed not work. I say that now, this is when it doesn't work. You see, I'll just show you them two seeds. Good. Two little star dog seeds. What about that? What about that? Yeah, light little tap. Just to make sure it's nice in there. And we've got number one. Repeating with the Northern Lights. So what have we got next up? GG. Green Gerato. These are the ones I'm quite excited about, I have to say. Um, <coughs> and definitely the Royal Grid. I've never, I've never smoked either of them. Obviously the Star Dog, I grew them last time. Um, Northern Lights, I've grown that before. But I've never grown the Royal Gorilla or the um, Green Gelato because they're, they're new to all the seeds. Some of these seeds, I won't get out every single one, but you can just see some of them are 10 times bigger than the other ones. The Royal Gorillas are massive seeds. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on that. They're just huge seeds, but um, let me just get this done and I'll get back to you then. Right, brought it back just for the last ones, the Royal Gorillas. I'll show you the last one again. Look, dipping it in. I literally, I don't want to be able to do that and it not to see, not to drip. And then we will give it all an extra little spray as well. I've got the bottle at the end. We've already got the two. I'm sorry for anyone that annoyed by touching it with my hands. People tell you not to. Let's say I got shown one way, and I've always done it that way. Run through what we've got here. Two Star Dog, two Northern Lights, they're autos, they're fem uh, feminized. Four Green Gelatos, feminized, two Royal Gorilla autos. Um, I'm going to give them all just a little. This thing's amazing, I showed it in the last video just because look how small it comes out. And all I'm going to do is just get them a little wet to a point where I lift them up and they don't drip. You can see the seeds are all solid in there. Yeah, we're good with that. They're all okay. Right, all I'm gonna do now is wrap them in a towel and get them in somewhere, you know, a bit warm because it's, it's still cold in England at the moment. Um, somewhere like your skybox. Um, somewhere like that's really good normally. Um, but the towel, the towel would do it. If need be, you can always throw it in the tent. Right, people, till next day. Cheers. Right, guys, I'm an idiot. Oh, I did say that. Put them in a bag first. <laughs> this is just to raise some humidity. Don't know why I completely just forgot about this. Try and keep things flat if you can. And the reason I like these big freezer bags are because you can fit. Let me move this out of the way. So you ain't got your toes in it. Because you can fit four bits of bounty in each one. Right there. 
that there. And a lot of the time you can even see when the roots start to push out through the um through the bag so you don't have to open it. I'm not gonna shut this bag, I'm not gonna seed it. Just push it down and then that will go in the towel. And we're set. Right now people <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Right people, 24 hours have gone by. I haven't looked in this yet. If you see it's just right next to a radiator. Um it's nice, it's nice and humid, isn't it? Set so, down, let's have a gander. I'm excited myself. I probably won't even get them out today, even if they are sprouted, because I'm just get bigger roots. So let's have a little look at the start of these green slides. Oh, might be the wrong way to open it. It's never too easy, is it? I'm just terrified of damaging anything inside, you see. Like the worst thing we could do. There we are, we got it. Not yet, people. We're getting there. Right, we're back here after it's about forty hours and this time I'm expecting them to have popped. I'll just get one of them out, get them ready, show you, and then I'll get them all out and have a look. Come on, baby. Oh, root, root, root. Four out of four there. Let me get the rest and I'll be back to you. Woo! They're the green gelatos. Give me a second, I'll get them all out. We're back. Um, they all popped. Um, there's two of them I have left in the bounty, uh, one Star Dog and one Northern Lights because they pop, but they just they were behind, so there's no point getting them out just yet. Um, I'm just going to run through doing the gelatos, green gelatos. Let me just get this open. Ooh, gotta be careful there. Um, all looking good. Nice, kind of long. I use root lights. Um, when you get these, they have got a little hole. Um, I like to use these barbecue skewers. Oh, just put it in, wind it about, see how it's just made it that little bit bigger. Sorry, it's a bit hard with one hand to show you, but there's a hole, you just make it a bit bigger. Not much. And then the bit where people get a bit touchy is picking a seed. Try and just get the shell if you can. And they will write themselves, but um, it's obviously a better idea to try and get it root down which ooh, might be a bit difficult right now so if I can get you on there right I pay more attention to putting it in there than I am um, recording this to be fair but it's basically it be very gentle with them oh I'm not really on it so I told you it might not be the best but you see slowly let me push that in. As I say, be really gentle. It is just falling in. And once that's in, you just make sure that's complete. Oh, a little more. A little more. You just pinch the top. Pinch a bit of the root right off and push it in. Sorry, people, I know that was not the best. But it's one of them things you want to be really delicate. Um, I hope you get the idea. I'm going to get the rest of these done. And we'll get back to you. Cheers. And that's them ones done. Something I forgot to mention was with the cubes, you pre soak them. Um, just pH water. I'll get another one just to show you as well. You don't want them dripping, but if you listen, you can hear they're, they're definitely saturated. Um, that's them ones done. The next thing you lot see is uh, them in the tent. Right, they're in. I did have a hiccup already. The smaller light that I use for the red, uh, for the seedling stage um, is broken, which I just found out. So I've got the 600 plugged in. I've got it right at the top. So hopefully it's all right. Um, humidifier in there, obviously. I need to get the stat in there. I haven't put it in there, but it should be all right. A couple extra bowls. 
So you always want that extra um, humidity, hence the, the cover as well. Still got a bit of air down here just so things don't get too hot. Um, hence where that liquid ice comes into it. Last time when I had this tent shut up completely, it, um, it was hitting like 30 something degrees, 31 and 32 degrees at times. And obviously I couldn't be having that. So that'll hopefully be all right this time because we're not in the summer. But we'll have to see what happens. Right people, it's only very quick. They've been in less than 24 hours and I just want to show you what's happened. We've got wool gorilla one. That's insane. Less than 24 hours. And I'm telling you, that's not the only one that I can see roots on. This one, GG2, is weird. Got a root. But, can you see how it's... Oh, it looks upside down. But we don't fuck with them. They're designed to grow, so you just let them do their work. They all seem to be pushed the top off, like a bit of wind's helped. These were the two that I left in the bounty. This one is that star dog. I'm not sure if it's it's got a tiny, I'm telling you, the tiniest root come out. I forgot what the end the word's called. Ah, oh, but it so I planted it anyway, why not? And this was the other one that was slow, and you can see that one's coming up. So we're just gonna come back in here. It's been about 20 hours since I put them all in right cubes. So I thought we'll have a quick check now. Oh, some have lost shells. Oh, I'm gassed already. Let me just get this undone. Otherwise it collapses. And let's start with the little ones. Doing this magic. This one is that other star dog. I think I'm gonna end up putting that other one. Uh, you can see the top of it. I'm just gonna leave them alone. All right, there's nothing too special there. Royal Gorilla One. Oh, that shell looks like it's not far from coming off. Oh, what have I just seen? Look at that. That one's lost the shell. Well, right, we we'll get back to that in a minute. What we've got here, Royal Gorilla 2. Looks like it's going to lose its shell soon. Northern Lights 1. That shell is next to it. See? I just blew it off. It looks a bit low, but that'd be mint. Um, SD1, I haven't seen any of. The SD, the Star Dogs, I don't expect too much compared to the rest of them because the rest of them from a bank. The star Dogs are just seeds I've had for a long time now. But in saying that, I put seven down on the last grow and seven pops and seven grew. But I've lost another shell. GG3. Oh, look at you. That's the green gelato there. Just coming out. Got another one that looks good down there. Doing your thing. And I say people, we've not even been 24 hours since I put them in the root riots. I leave them a little bit longer. Look at that one. Looks like some sort of dragon jumping out of the ground or a creature, doesn't it? Wow, we're happy. And as I say, let me show you some of these. We've got, we've got roots on some of them. Root. Have we got a root already? No root. Get next step. This one's got if it's dropped its shell, surely it's got root. Yeah, I think they'll got at least a root coming through. Maybe sat in here a couple more days um, just under this thing here because it creates the humidity. Make sure everything catches up um, and then we'll transfer into um, right people. We are back in here on Saturday afternoon. Um, as you can see, they're all sort of out. We do the gelato. They're all doing their thing. Um, at the late two, the northern lights came up. Um, 
but the star dog didn't i've already opened it up to have a look um you can see where i took it out of the bounty let me get it out down and see if i can do this oh i'm just gonna have to put it out basically the root is no longer than when i put it in there oh, i might just break it oh, i'll just break it a bit but you can see that Oh, you're gonna be able to see. Yeah, look, I've just snapped the root inside slightly, but it was dead. It's not done anything. So um, let's start on two out of the picture. Three left. But guess so. I'm gonna do one other thing because every single one is now showing me roots at the bottom. Um, quite a lot. That one's going a bit nuts. Um, so, I'm probably just going to throw them in their red cups now, um, which I'll show you me doing at least one of them, because um, they've been above now for two days. Yeah, so I'll show you. Next thing you'll see is me doing that. I might have to just give these a little tiny rinse as well of water. Peace out, people. So we're back. Um, I've already potted the rest. I said I'd show you. We've just got the last one here, GG3. Um, as you can see, look. They're all standing quite still, and the roots are getting ridiculous. So they're all getting thrown in the pot, throw that back down. Um, obviously, start just by putting some holes in the top. Oh, let's see if I can do this one hand without stabbing myself. It's the real question, isn't it? I don't think I can. No. <laughs> well. First thing's normally really easy, you just put some holes in it. One. Two. You gotta have them a lot cleaner than this. Three. Ah, oh, there we are, we're alright, we're alright. Most dodgy thing you'll ever see. Three holes. I'm gonna go straight into the canner. Sorry, I had to quickly cut that there. I've gone and lost my Mike Horizons. We're just going to tap a few of these in. Or a bit of this in. Don't worry right now. It's just a little fungi in that. Walk that around a little bit in there. Oh. See, that's just mixed in. We're going to throw a bit more of this in. Oh, that. I thought I got out all the lumps. Oh, not oh, just fell heavy. Let me carry on with that. Make a little hole. Two hands, this is a lot easier, I'll tell you people. Bit of them in. We're going to pause it just because you stick it around the edge of this as well, around each side. So let me pause it, get that done. Alright, we're back. You see, we're going to be really gentle now because that's got a massive root on it. Yeah, a little push and it should be just at the height of your cup you see all this stuff will end up pushing down around it it doesn't matter because we've got a bit more to put in a little random cube put it down. please don't hurt my little plant obviously this is done two handed normally but I haven't got the help that I normally have I don't know where my tripod is. I've got to dig that out. Very carefully, fill in the sides, push it down, just so the soils or the cocoa, sorry, is level. And I don't like too much. If I can make this a bit shorter of a stem, it doesn't really matter right now because it's obviously all going to grow. The idea is this cup is going to create me a huge root ball. So that when I put them into, look at that, all done. So when I, oh, it looks like a little one now. When it's all done, let's stick, pick that up. Come put it in with the little babies. And then see the one in. Woo, it's a bit bright. Let's just get these bad boys in. I've got to get the label for that one. But that is that. Go, sorry, I say boys. They're all labelled up, all in. You did your job very well. We, we sat here 
Oh, I could do a bit more humid, but by the time I've stopped playing with this tent, I think we'll be alright. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, it's part one of Grow Free. I can't believe it's started, I'm so excited. We're, um, we're called today day one above ground just to make the series easier so the day one is on the Saturday right people peace and love like and subscribe grow as love to you all let's get this